funny. All righty. So today's Tuesday, Tammy Tuesday. I love Tammy Tuesday. What you got for us, Tammy? Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Wait a minute, I Tammy. Tammy Aren't Tuesday. you on vacation? I am on oh, vacation. It is the are. first time I've taken time off in two years. So it's kind of exciting. I'm going to um, Hershey Park with my family. Cool. And um, so I'll be drowning in chocolate. But don't worry. I know real estate stops for no one. So um, as much as I like to say that I'll, I'll be limited access to voicemail and email, I'm not leaving the country. I'm just going to Hershey well, Park. Good. So. Enjoy yourself. Take Enjoy your time off. But thank you for being with us today, even on oh, your Oh, my pleasure. So today I wanted to talk to you about a topic uh, near and dear to my heart, which is my renovation loans. Um, so as you guys know, I am the reno queen of Connecticut. Um, and I want to just tell you a quick story. Last year, we did a renovation loan for a client who they, they didn't really need to do it, but they wanted to do it. And they updated it with some paint. Um, they did some mild, uh, minor updates, no big deal. And that was nine months ago. We just refined, they did three and a half percent down and um, they just refinanced with the renovations and appreciation. They were able to eliminate mortgage insurance completely and their house appraised $50,000 higher than we thought it was gonna appraise at, probably because of the renovations. And they were able to save, uh, I think it was $300, more than $300 a month. So, and, um, and eliminated the mortgage insurance. So renovation loans are my jam. I love them. If your clients walk into a house and say, I love this house, but I can fix the but. Central air. Um, I'm trying to think of some, central air. Um, peeling paint, something minor, like they need appliances. HUD homes, you know, dead body buried in the backyard. Like we got you. Um, and I want to tell you what makes us different, Loan Depot different, is that I'm a certified renovation specialist. I'm the one that does the loan. I don't pass it off to someone. I have a renovation specialist, just like we have a condo specialist, just like we, when we're dealing with jumbo loans, we have a jumbo specialist. So I have my team that helps me, but I'm your girl. I'm the one who's in the, who's in the trenches with you. I'm the one talking to contractors, collecting the docs, scheduling the dates, doing what I do now for you with regular loans. So that's really what makes me different and what makes Loan Depot different. We have cracked the code. My record on these loans is 18 days. From application to close, we did it in 18 days. Now, I don't recommend that because the people were running with their hair on fire, but it can be done. So when you think renovation, when you think I love this house, but you think Tammy at Loan Depot. So mwah, happy week, everybody. Do your CMAs. Uh, awesome, Tammy. Tammy, uh, that's, some, that's a lot of mortgage um, magic right there, I will say. And let me, let me ask you, I mean, I'm always amazed when you talk about renovation loans. And I think every time you mention it, I learn something new. I could decide, okay, I want a $10,000 refrigerator. I want a $2,000 dishwasher. I want a $10,000 range. I can do all that? You can do all that. Um, you, If you decide, you know what? I want to put solar panels on this house. We have a renovation loan for that as well. Awesome. If you decide, you know what? This house would look nice with a new pool in the back. Our renovation loan would take care of that too. Oh. So, okay. I mean, it could be anything, something as simple as appliances and paint to like, we got to tear this house down because it's haunted. Well, most people wow. like haunted houses. We got to tear this house down for whatever reason. Well, you, got, you, you may have a haunted house. You may have a haunted house because you got bodies in the backyard, right, Tammy? That's, that's, that's what, Somebody asked me that once and I was like, yeah, that's actually a good point. We can do oh. that too. Oh my gosh. All right. Thank you, Tammy. Always good stuff. All right, guys. So announcements, get your pens out, please. And make note. Today at one o'clock, we have the rental panel right here in the Zoom room, panel of experts about rentals. Don't think you know everything about rentals because you probably don't. So make sure you're there today at one o'clock to listen to that. Tomorrow, tomorrow is huge. All right, I'm not gonna continue until I see a pen in everybody's hand or a phone where you're gonna put this down in your calendar. Come on, get ready. Tomorrow is huge, one o'clock right here in this Zoom room. Todd Auslander is gonna be there, I know it. We have Jason Abrams with us for our mega, mega mastermind, which is going to be amazing, guys. 
We promise to take 50 minutes to maybe an hour of your time. It's going to be jam packed with information. And I can't even say enough about Jason Abrams. He's the VP of industry, Gary Keller's right hand man. He is on all of our leadership meetings. He is incredible. He is at the helm, seriously helping Gary run this company. And he has agreed to take you know, 15, 20 minutes of his time to be with us to really focus on your goals, ending the year strong, how to do that, and Mega Camp, what's going on, and a lot of news about Ke Keller Williams. So please be there. You don't want to miss this. One reason why you don't want to miss it we will be giving away Mega Camp registrations for every 25 agents who log on to the mastermind, we're giving away a registration. If we have 200, we're giving away eight registrations. If we have 225, we're giving away nine registrations. You do the math. And if even if you've already registered and you get it from us, we'll reimburse you. So be there, guys. Let's, let's really break this Zoom room. So don't miss that tomorrow. And there's going to be other giveaways, which I can't tell you about. Okay. And then 5.30 tomorrow, Dan and I are doing career night. Again, great opportunity to recommend people to, who just want to hear about real estate. What is it like? Is it really scary to get your real estate license? Dan and I promise not to scare them. Um, we'll have between 15 and 18 to 20 people usually. So send them our way in this Zoom room, uh, 5.30 tomorrow. Um, what did I say? 5.30 tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay, great. All right. So today, our spotlight, guys, we have two, two guests with us today. They are agents among, amongst us, um, and they're both incredible in their own right. So first, what we want to talk about is really, you know, having two paths, one with a, a focus on money and one with a focus on profit share. Now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Fiona Porter. There she is, Fiona Porter. And I want to say about both of our guests, they are en route. They are already jamming their day. They're in their cars, but they wanted to make time to be with you today to share what their, what, what their topic is going to be. Now, Fiona, talk to us a little bit about how long have you been with Keller Williams at this point? Three and a half years. Great. Three and a half years. You've been at other brokerages, et cetera, correct? Yes, since 2014. Wow. Okay. Awesome. And uh, just briefly, share with us your experience coming to Keller Williams and talk about the difference a little bit. Yeah, so um, I worked for two other brokerages before I came to KW and I always felt like an island and I was kind of struggling for maybe five, six years and I came to KW. Um, first of all, I noticed that the culture was very different. I noticed that everybody kind of shared and then I noticed the training and this was the first time that I'd ever seen any training that was kind of available and I realized that you could actually become kind of a professional student here <laughs> um, that I had to carve my day because I could just be studying all the time but I followed um, I would say mainly Rick's Ignite and it was with his Ignite that um, I realized that if I followed what he was teaching me that I could go that extra mile Yes. And I could be the person that I wanted to become. And it was all about the focus. And you have to listen to his words very carefully. But with that word focus, um, he was able to make me the success that I am today. Yeah. And you are killing it, Fiona. You are rocking. Thank You're you. more than a capper significantly every year. Um, and I know you've got a real aggressive goals to end this year and next year. Yes. Talk yes. to us a little bit about your excitement and what that has meant uh, for you as far as profit share now that you've, you know, you're, you're completely you know, into Keller Williams and, and how are you spreading the word about that? So being British, most people know we're not really bullshitters. <laughs> so we have to believe in something before we're ready to share it. And um, I, I wouldn't say I drink any KW Kool-Aid and I say that very sincerely, but what I do feel is that this company offers so much to many agents that uh, possibly would have survived in the business that didn't stay in the business because they were not trained the right way. They were not given the right support system. And so I literally go through life and I meet people and I listen to them and I see if they're happy where they are. Right. If they say right. they're not happy, which most realtors 
these days, uh, generally moaning about stuff. Uh, I just tell them about what I experienced at KW. And I see this company absolutely like no other company. Um, it's a proven system that works. And if you choose to follow the system and you're ready to go that extra mile, you cannot fail. Yeah. It takes yeah. time, right? Yep. It takes yep. time, but if you put the effort in, you're gonna get rewarded in the, in the medium term. Sure. Now, Fiona, I looked, I looked up your numbers and I think what I'm seeing is pretty accurate. I see you have nine people in your first line. So nine people that you've directly referred into Keller mm. Williams and a mm. total of 23 in your downline right. beneath those people. Um, and now what I see is about, it looks like you're on track to make about 11 or $12,000 this year in profit right. share. Does yep. that sound right? Yeah, thereabouts. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, for doing nothing. <laughs> and again, I'm not making money from people. I'm sharing an opportunity. So I'm, I'm giving somebody a chance at a better life. See, that's what it's all about, guys. I mean, I did not put those words in Fiona's mouth. That's exactly what it's all about. Fiona is always coming from contribution with her conversations with everybody that she meets. And I mean, she's consistently bringing referrals to us. And I'm certain that, that, that nine in her first line is gonna jump incredibly over the next year. And there'll be, be no time before Fiona is in the 100% club, which means she's working here. In fact, actually, she's, she's gonna get to the point where we're paying her to be at Keller Williams because she's gonna exceed her cap in the income that she's getting from profit share. So kudos to you, Fiona, keep it up. I appreciate you. And Thank I know you. you've got more names for us in the, in the next I few I do weeks. actually quite a few. And just one thing I'd like to leave uh, on is basically anybody that you're doing a deal with that you love and that you, you feel that they're a great fit for the company, they're kind, they're hardworking and they're easy to deal with. Just give the name to Steve, um, you know, or, or to Dan or to Carlos, it's easy. You don't have to do anything more than that, right? So exactly, exactly. totally right. Fiona, thank you so much. Welcome. Good Welcome. luck with your day. I know you're busy. Thanks. Thank have you. Have a good one. Cheers. All right. Thank yeah, you. Bye. All right, guys. Bye. So moving on, our next guest is Max Ernie, Maxwell Ernie. So Max, I know we want to talk about focus on your, if you ask me, your lead conversion is exceptional. Um, hitting your targets and really looking at your goals that you've set for this year with only, you know, less than what, five months remaining, four months really to close business in this year. How are you doing it? And I want to say, guys, Max Ernie has about $350,000 in pending transactions right now, guys. Um, his, his foot is always on the gas. And I just want you to kind of share with us how you're doing that and how you're going to finish the year and what, how are you focusing on that? You have to unmute, Max. Hey, Steve, can you hear me now? Yeah, you're perfect. Perfect. Thank you for having me, first and foremost. Um, I appreciate everybody on this call. Hopefully, uh, some people can get some useful information out of this. Um, I think the biggest thing is, Steve, is, you know, it really boils down to time management. I mean, there's always more than... You know, there's there's always activities to be had, but you know, what what activities take precedence over other activities? Um, you know, in a market such as this, what what are you? You know, I think you have to kind of look at it or take three steps back to kind of look at what's really important and determine what needs to be done. So, you know, I I think I was probably on one of these calls a couple months ago or, you know, towards the beginning of the year when it was still a crazy market. And, you know, we talked about lead generating and I said, you know, I, I had probably taken uh, a little bit of a step back just because there's so much low hanging fruit um, that, you know, that kind of, why, why am I going to have those uh, potential buyers and sellers go to the wayside when, um, you know, it's right, it's right there in front of my face. And I think, Coming towards, you know, um, Q3 and looking at what where we're at as far as numbers go, um, you know, I think we had to kind of refocus, look at what's important, you know, coming into the new year, you know, we had to say, hey, you know what, um, 
you know, we got to, we got to put our foot back on the gas as far as lead generating goes, you know, there has to be a, you know, that for, for any of the new agents out there, I think this is one thing that I, I can't stress enough is your, your middle of Q3 and Q4 are so detrimental to the following year that, you know, or at least for me, I, I hate starting the uh, new year off with nothing in the pipeline. And I think if you guys can kind of set your, you know, this is really the time for you guys to really be setting yourself up for uh, 2022 at this point. So I think, you know, we've had a strong year thus far. Um, but I mean, get, getting back to the activities, I mean, you know, everybody should be using or hopefully should be using, uh, you know, I swear by my calendar. I mean, that's first and foremost. I mean, I, I don't even know what I would do without it to be honest with you. It's just, it, I, even personal time, everything, um, and then you're, going through and, and you're a you master know, of time blocking Max, right? I mean, you, you I, time block everything. I'm a nerd. I do it. Yeah. I do it religiously and with my personal events and even my personal friends make fun of me. Cause they're like, you're, you're really putting that in your calendar. And I'm like, look, if it, if you want it to happen, it, it's, it's going in the calendar. Cause if it doesn't, something else is going to come up and something's going to get put in there. Yeah. So, you know, we're scheduled down to, you know, to kind of put things in perspective, you know, we, you know, and I try to implement this with my team as best as possible. And they're pretty good about doing it. Um, but, you know, we're scheduled down to 15 minute increments. There's not a moment in the day. That's not, accounted for at some level wait a minute wait a minute say that again say that again max we're scheduled i at least myself is scheduled down to 15 minute increments so That's there's impressive. not a single second where you know um my breaks are scheduled um every, everything is there's just no way there's no way that i can go about my day and get everything done that needs to be done Right. Uh, without it. So well, I let think me ask, let me ask you and Cheryl, yeah. I mean, with, with the leads um, yeah, that you, that you're, you're developing, right. You have that focus lead gen conversion time, right. When you guys are on the phones doing what you need to do to connect, right. Is that typically blocked in the morning? How do you spread that out? Correct. So I'll be honest with you. I'm a pretty motivated individual. It's um, if you don't do it in the morning, it, it's extremely hard to, you Fit know, not fit it in. I mean, you can always fit it in. You can time block it in the afternoon, but you know, you want to do your lead generating in the mornings. Um, you're fresh. You, you already, your attitude is, or your head is, you know, right where it needs to be. Um, before all the, before your whole day goes haywire. I, I mean, let's be real. Like it does go haywire and more times than not. Um, there's no such thing as the perfect day, you know, whether it's an appraisal coming in bad or a client telling you that, they're taking a, you know, there's just 18 million things by 12, 30, one o'clock, you, you know, at to, to be fully, you know, immersed in lead generation. It's very difficult. Um, and I think if you guys can do that in the mornings, you know, so for our team, we do that from nine to 1230. Um, you know, there are certain circumstances such as today, I have to go to an appointment. So I'm in the car, but typically uh, nine to 1230, four days out of the week. I mean, it's not a ton of time. Um, but if you do it religiously, I mean, the results are, you know, anyone, totally. anyone that does that, you know, it doesn't matter how good, bad, you know, average you are, you, you're going to generate business. I mean, it's, um, it, it's just, it, it's a proven fact. It's all in the numbers. Um, and so, for anyone new on here, I would say I would I would try to implement that to your practice as best as possible. Use your calendar. Um, I know these are things that are, you know, already been discussed and talked about, but I would say those are probably two of the most important important things you can do to structure your day to to be successful. Um, totally. totally. And then I kind agree. of fine tuning everything else from there. Is, you know, it's kind of the 80-20 rule. Um, everything else is kind of just going to come full circle and, um, you know, for the most part, it will, you know, land, land in your lap. And I think everyone here will, you, you know, if you do that and you do that consistently for three to four weeks, um, you know, again, it's, it's, a not an, 
business where instant gratification is uh, something that necessarily occurs all the time. But I think if you can do that for, give yourself a month, give yourself 30 days, be, be honest with yourself, try it out. And I, I think 60 to 90 days, you're going to be extremely surprised with the results that you're going to obtain from that. 1000% Max, I completely agree with you. And I mean, there's Max proven, proven results right there, guys. Uh, 350,000 in pending transactions, uh, soon to be more, I know. Um, I mean, and Max said, you know, to all new agents, listen to this, just to, to step in, not just new agents, everybody. If you're not time blocking your time like that, you really need to. I mean, what Max just talked about was 14 hours a week, right? Nine to 1234 days a week, 14 hours a week. Like Max said, give it a try, guys. You will see the results. If you're consistent with it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work, right, Max? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not, I think it's, it's only four hours a day, guys. I mean, that's it. N not even, you know, um, yep. that, that's, it, it's not a lot. And I, it's kind of like exercise once you get into the routine of doing it. Um, you know, I've been doing it for years now. So it's, it's, it, I don't really necessarily think about it all that much, but yep. um, once you do it, it just, it, it, it kind of, you know, it's, it's just very fluid and natural and, um, you know, it's, I mean, it works. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say other I, than. Right. You're totally right. I mean, there's nothing else to say. Again, Max worked. formed that habit, right? In 66 days, right? We say you could form that habit. Give it 66 days, guys. Do what Max said and you will see the results. Max, I know you're driving. Thank you so much for squeezing no, us. I'm a today. passenger today, so you're good. I'm, I'm focused on you guys, but um, anyone that has any questions or, um, you know, needs help with anything, you, you know, obviously all my information is available, you know, shoot me a text or give me a call anytime. Awesome. Uh, I'd be more than happy to go individually through with anybody that has any questions. You're the best, Max. Thank you so much for being here, man. Yeah, not a problem, right. Steve. Have a good one. See you later. All right, guys, two different paths, two different paths to wealth. Both will work. Both are proven. So any questions, reach out to Fiona, reach out to Max, reach out to me, reach out to Dan, reach out to Carlos. We're here for you. All right. So I think we're wrapping up and I think we're ready for Marty Miller, Mr. Adonis. Hello. What an awesome call this morning. So today we're going to talk about creating a custom market update video using designs. Let's continue with design. Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0 and today is day 47. So we were still in designs over the last couple of days and we're gonna do a little bit more in designs today as I show you how to create a neighborhood video. So a video with market analysis and content that you can share on social media, you can put into a Facebook ad, etc. So in order to access that video, we're gonna go inside of designs. Again, our little paintbrush icon here and when we get into designs, we're going to create a new design again by clicking on the big blue button in the top right hand corner. And this time we're going to select video and then choose next. And when we do, it's first going to ask us to select a neighborhood. Now, this is going to be from the list of next door neighborhoods. So if you already know your next door neighborhood, you can just type it in or the one you're wanting to create a video for. And once you find that neighborhood, you can select it. Once you have selected the neighborhood and click on next, that's going to open the neighborhood information form where you can then go in and check the data that it is providing. Now, this data is being pulled from the MLS through our uh, relationship with Smarter Agent. However, you can see that every single one of these boxes is editable. So if you're doing your own CMA and you feel like the average home price based upon your analysis might be a little bit different, you can change what the average home price is. You can, average, you can also change whether you feel like the prices are on the rise, on the decline, or holding steady based upon your analysis. Again, the same thing for price per square foot and number of homes for sale and average days on market. Um, so in this example, I think that this is probably a little bit off. Um, I'm not sure how the home price is on the rise, but the price per square foot is holding steady. So I'm actually going to change that to on the rise as well. You've also got neighborhood features and there's a list of these to choose from. So you can kind of go through and 
check those out and find out. This is actually a rather new neighborhood. So I'm gonna remove historic. Um, and then you can kind of go through and see the different ones that are available. Now we have a lot of walking trails here in the neighborhood. We've got multiple lakes. So I'm gonna choose outdoorsy as that third neighborhood feature. Once you've got all of this data written in and kind of uh, confirmed, you can move on to agent information. Earlier, I asked you to choose your next door neighborhood. And some of you may have said, well, we don't have next door neighborhoods where I am. In that case, guys, just choose any neighborhood because you can then come in and change what this name of this video is about. So this could be Falls at Green Meadows. This could be a zip code. This could be a, uh, an entire city if you wanted to, right? You can choose what the name is for this neighborhood and then what the data is, in, is included. So if you don't have next door neighborhoods in your area, just pick any one and then go in and make the edits that you need to make. Next, you'll see agent information. This is being pulled from your marketing profile. So make sure you have all of this information. For some reason, my phone number isn't being pulled. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. And then you have your market center and brokerage information also being pulled in from your marketing profile. So just make sure that all of this is correct as well. And then once I click on next, you'll see that's gonna just take a little bit of time, but it's going to go ahead and create a neighborhood snapshot video. It's only about a minute long. It's got a little jingle to it and it'll present all of those stats that we just put into the editor. So you can see we've got the alert that the video has been created successfully. I'll just start off the video, play a little bit of it here for you. So it pulls in the name of the neighborhood that you created, the date that you created it, and then you can see it starts to put in the stats of what you put in, right? So whatever that price per square foot, whatever the average price, uh, home sale price, how many homes are available and what the average days on market is. And then it's gonna show you the three criteria that you chose about the neighborhood in just a second. And they've got little icons, right? So you can kind of see those. Here's athleisure wear, vehicle enthusiast and outdoorsy. And then it kind of talks about your information. It regurgitates, if you will, restates the information that you put in, promotes your app, and then puts up your branding information. So just kind of realize where it says real estate consultant in the selection process, that's where this will show up. Um, and then you can kind of decide how that looks from there. So once we click on save, now we're back into our designs template. And for some reason, it doesn't show up inside of all types. Uh, but if you do go into video, then you're going to find here's that video that we just created. And if you click on the three dots, you have the ability to download the video as an MP4. And so that way you could upload that to, you know, a different Facebook group or your YouTube channel, whatever you're looking to do. You can also click on use in campaigns and that would pull up the ability to actually put it inside of a Facebook campaign or something along those lines. And then you can finally do share on social and that'll connect you to the social side of things. And here you go, here's your video already loaded. You would write a text, check out my latest market update about the falls on Green Meadows. Did you know home prices are on the rise? Watch this short video for more information. Anything along those lines, right? And then you can schedule that post to go out on your Facebook business page, Twitter, or both. So that's pretty it, pretty much it for today, how to create a social design that is a neighborhood market uh, update video that you can then post, run ads, or download for future use. Excellent, everybody's getting their skills up, getting your designs, doing your arts and crafts, that's excellent. So tomorrow we're gonna talk about creating and editing an email design template. Join us then. See you tomorrow for that Jason Abrams call for sure. Everyone's going to be there, right? All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, Dennis. Bye, guys.